Hello friends, welcome to a new session of coding for kids using scratch. So here in this particular session, we are going to see the user input now. The designer or the user of this particular program will enter the data, will give the input to the sprite and then sprite will use that data and based on that it will perform some respective operations on it. In one of the session we have seen about the operators, we have seen different arithmetic operators, different relational operators. So uh, we, have we have actually learned about the meaning of these operators. Now let us use this operator by performing some arithmetic operations by taking the input from the user of it and based on that your sprite will perform the operation arithmetic operation onto it and will generate the result for you. So let us open your editor, I have created a new file here and uh, now my task here is to take two numbers from the user with the help of the ask statement two numbers and will perform the addition of these two numbers and that addition will be said by the sprite. Okay, so this will be my task and uh, I'll make some more interactive, interactive application out of it. Let's do not change the sprite. I'll keep the cat as my sprite and uh, cat will ask you to enter the numbers. Okay, so you'll enter the numbers and uh, then it will perform the addition of these two numbers and will say that addition to you. Okay, so likewise all other applications are also possible. Let's have the simple demo of it. Let's make your sprite at this position and I'll change the uh, backdrop also. So let's use some interactive good backdrop over here. Okay, let's use this Savannah. Okay, that's fine. Correct. Now, uh, before starting uh, the input, so let's have a sound first. So let's play mu. You can check this okay so you started the sound okay and uh, one thing that uh, when you run how to run the code that uh, will be using this uh, flag for that but we'll add at the end of this particular program okay after that uh, okay we'll start new sound and uh, now cat will say uh, something like is she is very intelligent like she will uh, tell us that ask me the questions or uh, give me two numbers I will do the addition for you okay so for that purpose I will go to the looks okay then I will say something for two seconds okay say hello let's see say instead of that say hello I will write like uh, ask me something okay for two seconds like okay so she will say ask me something for two seconds after that she will actually ask the numbers okay so if you go to sensing we have seen that in sensing okay so I, I can read the data from the keyboard okay how to do this one okay we have seen this I'll just make use of this particular program statement here ask what is your name and weight so basically I'll not ask for what is your name I will ask the user to enter the number Okay, so let's enter first number. Okay, will I'll ask the user to enter the first number and wait. So whatever the number is entered from the user that will be saved in the variable answer. Okay, so this answer is default. I want to save this answer in another variable. I have to save that. So to do this one, I need to create a variable like for example, the first number entered from the keyboard, I'll be storing into one of the variable called as num1. Okay, so let's go to the variables and let's create a new variable here, variable. Okay, so that variable will contain the value which is entered by the user and I'll be storing that inside it. So let's have the name as num1 to it. Okay. Can okay, after that the number has appeared over here and that label is also appeared here also. Okay, so first number I will store into variable num1. Okay, make another variable num2. Okay, okay. So num2. 
So num1, num2, two variables are created which carries the current value of them as 0. Okay. So what I'll do, uh, the first number which is entered, I'll set that value into the num1 first. So let's use set here. Okay. Set num1 to the answer of these questions, whatever answer you entered, that answer will be stored into the variable answer here. And I'll set that num1 to answer, whatever answer is there. So I'll put this answer here. So answer value, whatever you entered, that will be saved into variable num1. Similar to that, uh, once the first number is entered and I have saved that first number into the num1, I'll ask for another number. Okay, so let's go for this. Ask for another number. Okay, it's entering first number. After that, I'll enter the second number. Enter second number number okay and wait fine so the second number entered will again get stored into the variable answer and from that answer variable i'll be storing into num2 so let's go for that set again set your answer where is the answer here it is present okay take this answer and my variable is num2 here done so first time is asking store into variable num1 and second time is asking it will be storing to variable num2. So both of these variables are now set. After that I am having an operator called as plus with the help of plus operator I can do the addition of them and the sprite will say that addition afterwards. So before that let us make it somewhat interactive like uh, the cat will think for one second or two second. So let's go to looks. So she will think for two seconds. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So I'll write wait. Okay. No, not that. Uh, let's see. Addition is okay. So she think in mind and uh, she will say addition is for two seconds. And after that, I want to print the addition. Okay, I want to print the addition. So let's say she will tell us the addition. So say addition for two seconds. But here I need to write the addition. It's saying hello. So instead of this particular control, I need to write the addition of num1 and num2. So how to do this one? So let's go to operators. Okay, let's pick the first operator here plus operator. Here I need to put the first variable and here I need to put the second variable. Fine. So let's go to variables. Num1, take it here. Okay. Then num2, put it here. Correct. And now whatever num1 and num2 is there, that will be said by the cat. Yes. Say num1 plus num2 for two seconds. So whatever num1 and num2 we have entered that will be added and the cat will say that addition afterwards. So for example, if you enter 10 plus 20, it will become 30 and that will be said by the cat. Got this? So let's revise whatever I have done. Start the sound, say ask me something for two seconds, you will say that. Then ask the first number, then say that first number, answer into num1. Then ask second number, say that answer into num2. Then think addition is for two seconds and then perform the addition and say by the respective cat, your sprite. Okay. Can we try this now? Let's run that. Ask me something. Yeah. She is asking, enter the first number. Okay. So here I'll enter the first number. Like, okay. So first number is 10. Correct. I'll press enter key now. Enter. Now see. She is asking for the second number. Now my program is at this step here. Enter the second number. So let's enter the second number as 20. Okay, you can observe that when you enter the first number, that number is set over here. Number one is 10. And now I'm entering number 20, that is number 2. Enter. You can check this. Okay, now it's 30. Fine. So she has asked me the numbers. We have done the addition and she has said what is the addition so by this expression that we formed over here that she is saying the answer is 30 okay 
similar to that all other operations we can do again do see yeah and the first number is 55 okay and the second number is 45 so 55 plus 45 is 100 yes perfect now this is the way that we can make use of to enter the input from the user you are the user and you are the programmer so with the help of that you enter the data into the code and you can use that value like this in the program similar to that all other operations you can try like addition subtraction multiplication division okay in the next video i'll show this operation of comparison there so one of the way by which we can see the relationship between two variables or you can make use of this also absolute value round off or mod means the uh, remainder in the division that can be found by using mod operator okay so this already we have seen but this is how we can create a simple application of reading the data from the user and processing that data into the computer program okay so you just try with other operators and try this program also we can try different kind of sprites also to perform similar kind of operations here so happy coding thank you thanks a lot